Hi, my name is Pablo and I'm a system test engineer here at Zero Avia. back rig here in Kemble is built to test our prototype motors and our certification units as well. The special part of this test rig is that it's a regeneration dyno and it's also built specifically to cater for our 600 kilowatt system. So we've got a cooling system that can take up to 160 kilowatts and we can measure up to 15 power channels. That means currents, voltages and of course we're measuring speed and torque as well. We do a variety of tests in this lab. We start all the way from slow speed, where we measure the torque ripple, and we do that at various speeds as well. And then we move from there to more electrical testing as well. We do isolation testing, and we do also a full mission profile, which simulates very similar characteristics to what the engine would see in flight. There's one big difference though. There's no propeller inside this rig. The reason why, of course, is that will create a lot of airflow, but we can simulate all the other parameters except for that axial load. So the first thing we do is we do a pre-start checklist. We check that the whole rig is safe to run and that we've got all the sensors ready to log the data that we need. The next step is we start up the rig. So we first bring it up to 500 RPM and we go from there. Depending on what test we're doing depends what we will do next. Usually we're running at about 2000 RPM and we're measuring the currents and of course all the other outputs that we're getting from the mechanical shaft that we have. We learn something new at every test because we're essentially expanding the envelope of our motor. We're testing at higher powers, we're testing for longer durations at different temperature profiles. And this is very important to characterize the motor in different scenarios. This way we can understand when it will be placed in flight, which has a whole variety and spectrum of characteristics and environmental aspects, we'll be able to know that our motor will perform well. When we run these tests, we align ourselves with many teams. The first team we align with, of course, is the design team, feeding back essential data for them to be able to validate their models. But we're also working very closely with our safety team, and with our certification team so that we're already following the processes that we'll need to transfer data for our regulators. Testing in these kind of rigs are essential for us to move faster towards certification because it allows us to de-risk at a very early stage the performance of our ZA600 EPS. Cool. Nice one. Good nice test, one. gents. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.